So George comes in and he says, hey boss, you know that job I was working on? I'm not feeling comfortable with it. And the boss says, why not? And George says, well, the surface plate screwed up. What do you mean the surface plate screwed up? It's, it's not flat. How do you know that? Well, I don't. If you hear that comment, this is one way to find out if it's flat. Now, it's not scientific. It's not going to be as good as if you call your surface plate company and have them come in and resurface it. But it'll give you an idea whether it's out two, three, four, five tenths, or a couple thousands. Here's one way to do it. Uh, again, this is not a scientific approach, but it's a shop band-aid, if you will, or a shop check. So now the, we're going to check with our dial indicator. How do we do that? And remember, there's a couple of challenges. We want to make sure that we understand the dynamics of what's going on. So our surface plate is here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check corner to corner. Why do we want to do that? If we check this corner, or we put our height gauge here, and we check this corner, and we come over here, and we check that corner, remember, more than likely, the corners are probably good from corner to corner to corner. Again, the wear is going to be the front edge and the middle. So we get a zero reading here, or a zero reading here. When we move to the middle, stand, keeping the indicator stand right here, if there's a hole there, this should be low, but not necessarily. Why? Because what if your surface plate was really dipped right there in the corner? So you put your stand on there. This is exaggerated now. But your stand is now tipped. By the time you come out here to check it, it's going to show plus because it's tipped. If it's flat, then it'll show a hole. I'm talking about in the middle now. But if there's a dip here right in this corner, you're going to get a false reading. You're going to think that it shows plus. If it shows plus, you're going to think, well, it's got to be high in the middle, which is just not going to happen. So how do you fix that? You have to clearly understand what you're checking. It's not going to be dead accurate, it's just not. But it'll give you a range, it'll give you an idea, supposing it checks two tenths here, two tenths here, three tenths here, it'll give you an idea that the surface plate is off. Now if it checks thousands, now you've got a real problem. But if it's a couple of tenths, at least you know that there's some wear on the surface plate, because it should check zero all over the place, right? If it's flat, it's flat, right Glenn? Mm -hmm. So it should be zero everywhere. If it's not zero everywhere, and you're getting a reading where there's plus or minus two tenths here and there. It just tells you that there's something wrong with the surface plate. It's not flat. Again, you're not going to be able to determine where the holes are necessarily, but you will be able to tell that there's a problem with it. So let's take a look out back and let's see what it looks like. Ready to go, Glenn? Oh, yeah. Let's go. You got to change your shirt? I got to do that. Okay. Get my glasses. All right. So you want to know if your surface plate is out of tolerance. This is one way to do it. Now, I don't recommend this for certification, obviously, but if you want to have a rough idea to see if it's somewhere within a reasonable tolerance, this is one way to do it, and I'll show you the trick to doing that. I can't emphasize how important cleanliness is. So remember the ammonia trick? We want to make sure that the plate is perfectly clean. If you're trying to check this within a couple of tenths, or a tenth or so, let's say, you better make sure that you have every square inch of the surface plate as clean as possible. So we use the ammonia, which, whew. You want my sandwich? Yeah, right. Man, I'm downwind from this. I'll tell you what, it'll wake you up. I don't, I'm not so sure it gives you a buzz. I think it shocks you. So, I'm pretty comfortable now that this is good and clean. And what we're going to use is a height gauge, and I want to clean the feet of that. There's three of them on there. I think this will work. 
and I'm going to take a gauge block and I have a tenth indicator on here. All right, so I'm going to take a gauge block or better known as a Joe block. It doesn't matter which one. And again, constantly wipe because there's dust and dirt in the air. You're in a shop environment. We're not in a QC room at this point. So we want to make sure that everything is clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the corners because more than likely when the surface plate is worn, it's usually worn in the middle because that's where it's used for the most part. So we're going to come over here and check it in one corner and I'm going to set the indicator on zero. Take a good look at it. I'm pretty comfortable with that. I'm going to come over here at this side as far as I can reach. Now that's showing plus almost two tenths. In the middle we're showing zero. Or maybe now right in there we're showing approximately zero. That's zero. Now it should be zero all over the place. It shouldn't change. So let's go over here. That's showing plus two tenths. Time for lunch. Let's go. So what does that tell you? That tells me that this side is high by two tenths, or in other words, this is low. That's the way I'm reading it. We got a zero there, and just see if it repeats itself. Plus two tenths there. A zero here. Let's try this other side. Plus a tenth there. Spin it around gently. I don't like it when it vibrates like that, because sometimes the indicator will move. It's plus a tenth there. So I would say, it's fair to say that this surface plate is probably all over within about two tenths. That's why I would check it. Again, it's not a scientific way to do it, but it's a way you can do it in your shop to get a rough feel and say, gee, I wonder if my surface plate needs to be resurfaced. If you only need it to be within, say, a couple of tenths, you're good. But if you need it within 50 millionths or so, you need to call your surface plate company, have them come out, and refinish this. Uh, and recertify it, I should say. So that's one way to check the surface plate. Thanks for watching.